Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafters and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to unbox the Love from Lizzie August kit and I'm so excited because there are some gorgeous girls in here. You may have seen Lizzie's unboxing. I leave links to her unboxing as well as her add-on video down below in the description. So let's go ahead, open the box and see what's inside. So I'm going to start with the cardstock. As usual, we get generally five sheets of cardstock in our kits. This cardstock is the American sized cardstock. So it's a little bit shorter than um, the Europe or UK A4 size, but it's a little bit wider. So we've got a lovely blue, um, this kind of a pink color. We have like a sandy yellow color, a light yellow color, and then white cardstock. You might want to change this out for um, a white cardstock if you're going to use it as a card base and keep this one for your stamping and that kind of thing. So we have our five sheets of cardstock here. Next, we're going to have a look at this pack. <laughs> Look at all of this. This is the gorgeous or the Centauri girls and I just think they are so lovely. We have got um, a, a, quite an amount of um, papers here. So we have this lovely one here with um, our Centauri girl with her feet in the sea. Then we have this one here which is a lovely stripey one in yellows. We have this one again with the stripes and it's blues and greys. This one is a lovely either water or sky, depending on what you do with yours. This one is a lovely starry night background. Then we have this one. And it's lovely grey tones. And then this is the coloured version of that. Then we have a little girl on her swing. Another beautiful watercolour in the pink. And this one is in the blue. This one would be fabulous if you like doing um, the big pages. Um because of it having the summer days. I love that. So a scrapbook page, I think, is what they are. But you can definitely cut this down. Now, we're moving on to some of the elements that are decoupage. Do you Have you ever done decoupage? I love doing decoupage. So decoupage, for those that don't know, is an image which is built up in layers and the image gets smaller and smaller as the layers build up. So for this one, which is A1, you have this large piece here. Then for A2, you can see you're getting a smaller piece. So you're going to put this on top here and you'll use little foam pads in between. Then this piece is A3 and this piece will sit on top of this piece which sits on top of this piece and we will do a decoupage together in one of our makes. For this one we also have a four and a five so our little girl gets built up so there's five layers to this decoupage. Now you can just do it so you ha you can have a one and then you can put a two on top or you can go a one a3, A4 or A5. So you can make one thick decoupage layering up from A1 to A5 or you can make a couple of thinner decoupages with them. So depending on how frugal you are. So we have this lovely little gorgeous girl. She's lying on her towel and then we have our lovely mermaid girl as well. So I love these. So we have that one. 
we have this gorgeous girl in the different um, kind of pinky purples and the grey tones. We have our girl who was sitting on the rock and this lovely little girl here with her lollies behind her. So these are all die cuts and like I said they just pop out. Then we have more little images that all can be popped out. So these are small cut apart. So it's these pieces now are like ephemera but they're not popped out for you. You do it yourself. So there's Fly Away With Me, Sugar and Spice, and then Rainbow Dreams. And then we have this one with the tags. So you have tag shapes. We have rounds as well. Beautiful for focal points on a card. We have this one again. I love this, Summer Days. Isn't she lovely on the horse? And this one with the postage stamps. One with the little cat. So cute. These girls are just so cute. So, I mean, these are brilliant. You can just pop these images out, put them on a card, bang on a die cut sentiment or stamp a sentiment and you have a card done brilliant especially if you do craft fairs or anything like that this one is lovely and this one has layers in there so you can pop these out there's one two three layers so you could put one flat down one with one um depth of foam tape on and then you could put two um you know two foam tapes deep for the second one so you could build up this layer and I love to build up layers on a card so these are perfect absolutely perfect for doing that we have this page which is strips so it's in effect a bit like having ribbon I know what I would do with these is use them as a border on a card or you can use them as a wrap for as a belly band on a card so that's all those sheets there. We also get foams, little square foams in white. And these will be fantastic for doing our decoupage. Now you can also use these for just doing any kind of layering up on your cards or your projects. So I love that we have gotten foam tape. We've also got some peel offs in this beautiful blue. It's a little bit darker than our um, papers here. My camera seems to be really bringing out the um, colours in them, but it's I would say this is a denim blue. Absolutely love this colour. Really fab. And I didn't mention these are the pinstripe peel offs, so we have different widths on them. Lovely. We also get some ribbon. There is one meter length and there are five different ribbon types. So we have gorgeous little thoughts. We have this one, which is like, you know, the airmail. We have this one in a beautiful, it's like um, a lavender lilac color with our little girl. We have this one here, which is it's like postage mark and then we have this little girl here in the greys so really lovely ribbons like I said there's five of these and they're each a meter long next we get some little wooden pieces and we also get some dimensional stars so let's have a look at these that's everything so we have one, two, three, four, five stars and they have no adhesive on the back. So you can use a little glue dot or you can use some liquid glue. So we'll put those there. And then we also have some wooden pieces. We have a lovely little boat, a shell, an anchor. A little tree and a parrot or a toucan. 
Next we get some sequins. This sequins is just a sample bag. You can, from Lizzie's website, get um, a full larger bag of sequins. And I just love the colours in this. It's very um, blue skies or blue seas the sequins absolutely beautiful and will go very well with all the products in the kit we have another little um ziploc bag and there are some gems in here as well as some bows so we have two rows of small little they're like diamond um adhesive gems so there's adhesive on these and then we have a row of these lovely love hearts Aren't they beautiful? And then we get some bows. Oh, that I could tie my bows to look as beautiful as these. So it's like a little sample of the ribbon that we've got there in bows. So we have the little airway ones, the little blue one, the grey one, the black one, the lavender one. And then this one. Aren't they beautiful? Absolutely. I wish I could do a bow as beautifully as those. They're absolutely gorgeous. So if you're not very good at doing a bow using the ribbon, you've got these little bows in here. So you can use the ribbon on your card and then pop your bow over the top. And voila, looks like you've done a beautiful bow. I love that. Next, I'm going to have a look at the dies. We get a couple of dies in this one. And I love dies which are sea themed. <laughs> Absolutely. So we have a lovely, I think this is a clamshell as well, where our little pearl is. So you could die cut this out in um, different um, cardstock and you could paper piece it. But Absolutely lovely. We get the whale. And we get a seahorse. I have to say, the seahorse is my favourite, favourite from the sea. I just think they are such a cool, cool fish. And I love the way the dad is the, the main um, life giver of this. But um, fabulous, I have to say. I love the seahorse. And then we have our whale. Isn't he or she just fabulous? I can't wait to cut these out and use them. Fantastic. I think I have a card in mind actually for this. I think I do. Yeah. Okay. Inspiration is coming to me. And then last but not least, we get this stamp set. And there is a whole lot in this stamp set. I want to see now if I can open it. Um, let's see it's kind of clipped in there I'll just use my scissors to open this up absolutely gorgeous look at those isn't that fantastic I love these fish you could nearly use those in um, a Japanese theme they're kind of they're kind of like a koi carp, aren't they? But I love them. Um, we have little fishes, a little stamp. You know, when your, your stamp is marked by the post office, it's like that little image. I love it. We have our little crab um, by airmail, par avion. You know, I would nearly use these on an envelope that I'm posting a card to someone. I mean, they're fab. And I, when I post um, things out and they're going from anywhere other than Ireland, we have these little um, stickers that we get with our international stamps here. And you could stamp it yourself. It's fabulous. Now let's look at our little girl, our Santaro girl here. Isn't she just beautiful? I love the stamp because I'm not a great colorist I'm very much a newbie at it but I love the fact that I can stamp this down and I have all the ideas for the colors here so I might want to do my little girl in pink but it gives me an idea of where to do my shading 
you know, and my colouring. So you don't have to be brilliant. You know, you could stamp this girl down. You could use your embossing powders. You could do her in a white embossing powder or a gold embossing powder. Um, if you did it in the white or in clear, you could then use your zig markers or your watercolour pencils and colour her in. But for those artistic people out there, um, yeah, this is lovely. Now you can see it's a red rubber stamp, but I think we're all more than um, aware of using those in a stamping platform. Um, so yeah, no problems with using these. You can use them on a stamping block as well, but um, just fabulous. I love that. So this is all the products that come in the August kit this year with our lovely Santoro girls. And I think it is a real bumper pack. It's just chock-a-block, especially with all these die cuts and decoupage and um, strips as well. Fabulous. So on top of that now, Lizzie does have some add-ons. And being one of the design team members, I have gotten some extras. And these you can purchase from Lizzie's website. So there are some dies and Lizzie has sent me two. There are far more. So please do have a look in the description down below and click on Lizzie's add-ons um, YouTube video. You'll get to see all the products that you can add into your kit. And if you are a subscriber and you're getting a kit, if you add these in, you can put them in your basket, put them through and Lizzie will pop them into your kit box. You won't have to pay extra postage. But I just love the sailboat wheel and the anchor. Aren't they fabulous? More of the underwater team. So I'm delighted to have gotten those. There are also some extra peel off sets in here for me. Oh, look, I love peel offs. So we have this one in all the blues. So it's in a lovely dark blue, a green, um, a paler blue, a kind of a denim blue and a grey. These are the um, pinstripe ones and they're the metallic colours. Aren't they fabulous? There's no reason you couldn't jazz up a card using the peel offs. I just love those. We also have this set in the greens and again, isn't this fabulous for any kind of a theme, but definitely these work with underwater or even scenes, you know, scenery kind of colours. So we have a dark green, um, then we have a kind of a forest green, a metallic green. I, I'm sure these all have names. I'm sorry, Lizzie, if I'm not giving them their, their correct names, but you can see all the color palette there. They're just wonderful. So these are the large peel off sticker sets and they're the pinstripes that you can get. And then you have the standard peel off sticker um, packs that you can get. So let's have a look at this one. This one has, it has Gosh, it's got different ones in it. This is brilliant. I'm going to take them out because I want you to see them. So this one has straight peel offs. Then you have the pinstripe peel offs in the green pinstripe peel offs in this lovely kind of um, kind of a cappuccino or fawn kind of color. And then you have stars. These are brilliant. If you don't like using gems, on your cards, you've got a small, a middle and a large size star. And Lizzie does these in hearts and rounds and all kinds. So definitely look up those peel offs packs that you can get from Lizzie's. And then we're back again to the pinstripes. This one is gorgeous. Oh, it's like mustard yellow. It's fabulous. We have our bubblegum pink, which I love. Then we have our blue glitter and this is non-shed and they're kind of um, see-through. They're like opalescent. And then the same with this in the yellow. Wonderful, wonderful. 
pack. If you're interested in Lizzie's kits, please have a look down below in the description. I'll have all the links to Lizzie's website, to um, the add-ons to Lizzie's videos and I hope that if you're not a subscriber to the kits that these might just wet your whistle and give you a taste if you're new here. If you're um, one of the subscribers, keep an eye out. I will shortly have a 10 card one kit video coming along. So that's it. I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching, folks. And until the next one, stay safe, take care and bye for now.